Welcome to Vienna. It's the home of the Eurovision Song Contest 2015. Next to us now is the representative of Hungary at the Eurovision Song Contest. Hi, Boggy. How are you? Hi, nice to see you. I'm really fine, thank you. Yeah, it's, a, it's been a long day for, for you as well. How, how was the first uh, time to be on that Eurovision stage today? Uh, it was really good. I'm really satisfied with my band, with myself as well. Oh, we did a really great job. Uh, we had a really good technical sound check. We did a good rehearsal on the stage. We finally saw the background visuals that the ORF made for us and I'm really satisfied with everything. So it was a good but a hard day. So now I'm a little bit tired now. <laughs> but you're still smiling and that is important about it. You're singing Wars for Nothing. What is this song all about? Actually, this is a hymnic ballad pleading for peace. Mm -hmm. And the song was written by three composers. So three composers, many inspirations, but one goal mm -hmm. to raise people's attention to this issue. And uh, since the beginning, it wasn't easy to write a song because, you know, uh, singing about wars, it's, uh, it's a little bit, I don't know, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. So to find a good way to communicate the message to, I don't know, to find a good orchestration, to be the honest, yeah. the best we can be. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't easy. And we, uh, I don't know, talked a lot about it with the two other composers, but I th I'm really satisfied with the result because we found a good way to sing about wars. Okay. Now, uh, a, f a few weeks ago, you were in Amsterdam at your original yeah. concert. Do you actually <laughs> live in Holland? No, I don't live in Holland, but the, the lyricist okay. uh, of my song, uh, Shara Helena Bori, mm -hmm. she's a half Dutch and half Hungarian. And she lives in The Hague. Mm -hmm. But uh, when I was in Amsterdam, uh, she came with me and uh, it was really good to be be with her. Okay, that's where it comes from. Um, one more question I have about your name. Is that your real name, Boggy? Actually, my full name is uh, Boglarka. Mm -hmm. It's a really original Hungarian name. It means buttercup okay. in English. Mm -hmm. But in Hungarian, Boglarka, it's a flower. It's a springtime flower. And it's a butterfly as well. Okay. But um, uh, when I... Um, started my solo career, I wanted a, an artist's name, a stage name, which is more simple. Mm -hmm. And uh, Boglarka has got a nickname, Boggy. So actually, yeah. Boggy is my nickname. Fantastic. Thanks very much. You've won awards, Boggy, for singing in styles very different to the one we've heard you today, singing jazz and world music, maybe. Tell us about some of your influences in music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, I... Uh, I have a really, uh, I don't know, long time musical studies stories because I started with classical vocal training during five years and I, I uh, studied classical piano also mm -hmm. and afterwards I, um, I went to a jazz conservatory. I also studied folklore, Hungarian floor, mm -hmm. folklore. I, uh, I studied country music uh, the, from America. Wow. And uh, finally, I finished my musical studies in the only pop music conservatory in Budapest. Mm -hmm. But I was also influenced by French music, the, the French chanson. chanson. And uh, so a lot of inspirations. And I'm so glad about it because when I started to compose my own songs, I had a lot of influences. So I put them in together. And the result is worse for nothing or nouveau parfum. Or it's really interesting, I think. It, it's it's very diverse. Your, your genre, your, your singing, in, and you, you you can take things from everything. And that's what you what you're doing. Fantastic. That's good. So how does Eurovision, the, the, your participation at the Eurovision Song Contest, fit into this? I f feel so blessed, and it's a great honor to be representing my hung my country, Hungary. Mm -hmm. And you know, in my career, it's a big step because after my song uh, Nouveau Parfum, mm -hmm. Eurovision is, is a bigger stage mm -hmm. to, to get more audience and to reach more people by my music. So Eurovision, it's a logical step for me in mm -hmm. my career and I'm so happy to, to perform here, to, to reach people mm -hmm. with my music, to show who am I, to show my music and I'm so happy that I can sing my own composition 
So, and Words for Nothing wasn't written for Eurovision actually. Words for Nothing was written for my second album, okay. which was released last year. And when I entered the Hungarian uh, Adal, song contest, Adal, mm -hmm. Adal, I just picked it from the album. Fantastic. Wow, that, that's, that's amazing. Boggy, you've uh, toured with your music in quite a number of countries. I think you've been to America and Germany. Is there any favorite place you've been to to perform or perhaps just to visit? <laughs> Actually, I did a really busy flash mob tour in the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. And I visited Berlin in Germany, the first time in my life. And uh, I really liked it. Mm. So Berlin is, is a mixture of um, the simplicity, but the grandiosity. Grandiosity? Yes, yes, yes. And it's really similar to Budapest. Mm -hmm. And I really felt like in home, but... Mm -hmm. It's more space, more. Yeah, yeah more it's really it's good, Berlin. Yeah, yeah, it's I was nice. really uh, surprised about it because everybody wants to go to Paris or London, or but Berlin is still modest, but it's a really cool place. It has a, a certain flair. I'm, I'm actually I'm German and I've got family in, in, in uh, East Germany as well. Yeah. And when the borders came came open, then it was so nice to go to see the entire country of Germany for me and my family, of course. That, that's quite nice. That's uh, what they call building bridges, I think. Building bridges, there we are. That's the logo <laughs> of this year's Eurovision Song Contest. Now, what are your, your uh, memories from the Eurovision Song Contest? You're taking part, you're be becoming the part of the history of, of Eurovision. What are your first memories and what are your nicest memories of Eurovision? I remember a Hungarian singer, Friderika. She uh, got uh, fourth place in the uh, 19th. 94. 94, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, that was my first uh, meeting with Eurovision mm -hmm. because after this success, uh, everybody talked about Eurovision. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why, but we we cancelled Eurovision for a time. Yeah. And uh, after we started again, mm -hmm. and with the television show Dal, I think Eurovision uh, became more and more popular in mm -hmm. Hungary. People love talking about it more and more than mm -hmm. before. It, it's it's true. It's it's putting a hype on in, yeah. in, in your country, which is fantastic. Uh, how will you spend the next few days in Vienna? Apart from rehearsing, you're going to be doing some special trips. Actually, yes. Uh, everything is well organized by the ORF mm -hmm. because tomorrow we have an excursion. I don't remember where. Sorry, but we'll have a boat trip somewhere. On the Danube, I guess. Yeah, Danube. It's really mm -hmm. similar. That's similar, it's really familiar for me because in Budapest also we have Danube. It's going through there, it could have come by boat actually. Yeah, That's <laughs> yeah you're right. Bogi, thank you very much for chatting with us. We wish you all the best of luck with Wars for Nothing in semi-final one at the Eurovision thank Song so Contest. Much. And see you in the final on Saturday. <laughs> okay, see you. <laughs> thank you.